I've been making things out of felt since I was about eight years old. Felt is a really easy fabric to make, it doesn't fray. You can have it in all the different colours, it's super easy to sew. For any kid, like it's, it would be a starter fabric to use, but now I just take it to extremes. <laughs> We're on a farm in the middle of Essex, so about 30, 30, 40 miles north of London, in the middle of nowhere. The nearest shop's about three miles away, so we're literally in the middle of nowhere. I live on site in a caravan, which is about 20 metres from the felt cave. Outside it's all greenery, you come in here and it's the most colourful place on earth. It's wonderful. From the age of about 21, 22, I was making stuff and knowing that that was my art and that's what I wanted it to be. If I was going to make sort of a big splash in the art world, it needed to be something that people couldn't ignore. It needed to be huge and all-encompassing experience for people to really take note. Well, number one, I didn't have the money to do it, so someone suggested to me crowdfunding. I didn't know anything about it. All I googled was how to make a good Kickstarter video. <laughs> and I set off one weekend and filmed it. Hi there, my name's Lucy Sparrow. I'm going to turn this empty building in Bethnal Green into a knitted corner shop. I was incredibly nervous the day that I launched the Kickstarter. My first goal was 2,000. I woke up the next morning and it was on about 4,000 pounds. And I was just suddenly like, oh, okay. I had no idea there were strangers out there that were watching these videos. A whole community in itself, it suddenly opened these doors to people from all over the world. I had this whole new audience. There's people out there and the world is maybe listening. <laughs> the second time doing the Kickstarter was incredibly scary. It was my first big US show. The projects always have to be bigger than the one before. That's like the rule that I've set myself. In the New York convenience store, it's 9,000 items. Everything's old. You get out of it what you put in. You have to work probably 10 times harder than you've ever worked in any paying job in your life. It might take 10 years, it might take 15 years, but when it does happen, it will 100% be worth it. <laughs>